morning. It's July 23rd, and we're going to harvest these uh, small containers of our baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We originally bought these in the market uh, several years ago because they were sprouting out in the bag. As I walked through and seen them, they were just full of green shoots, so we bought this little bag of potatoes. <coughs> And they're small potatoes. Um, that's why we put them in these little small pots. These are two gallon flower pots in the front, the front four. And then in the back, uh, the one container, I believe it may be three gallons. But as an average, they're around two gallon pots. And we're going to see if we, uh, how well we did with our little harvest here. Now, when we planted these in these little pots, we did bury the bottom of the pots in the soil in case they became root bound and then they uh, the roots could grow out of the bottom of the pots and get some more nutrients that away. So we're gonna check these out and see what, what we got there. Nice little top growth. You can see the root. You can see the root growing out of the bottom of the the pot here. So that was down in the soil. Kind of see the potatoes off to the side there. Try to get a little better view there. Okay. Oh, two more. Just when you think that you've done. So. Actually, you just do it like this. It might be easier. <clears throat> That's our first little, that's our first little two gallon pot. And you can see this, this little potato was even trying to get up there and, and put some more uh, green growth. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 potatoes from that one pot. That's not too bad. We planted these early in the spring. Um, here's my tab, but you can see the marker that I wrote with wore off of there. So I'm gonna say um, around April, beginning of April. Really 
Roots coming out of the bottom. Not a bad little cluster. So then we got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of that one. We're getting there, two pots. That's not bad for two gallon pots. Okay, well that one wasn't much to write home about, but we did get some out of it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six potatoes. And they're small. But when you <clears throat> when you buy this variety potato in the market, that's about the size of potatoes you get in the bag. So that's about what we, that's what the size we, when we bought these potatoes, that's about the size they were showing up. That's a good sign. You can see they grew near the top of the plant. So there's a cluster of potatoes there. They grew up near the top of the soil. They grow kind of strange, but they're still a great eating potato. Now this one has one growing at the top of the soil here, but we don't want to eat that because that looks a little green on the tip, and green potatoes are poisonous to you, so we won't eat that.
see they're all growing in a nice little cluster right near the top. Okay, one more to go. And you can see why I'm harvesting these right now. You can see the blight starting to get to them. So we're going to go ahead and get these out here. And um, we'll get this these tops in the trash can. I never uh, compost any leaves from any plants we grow with blight on them. Last one. And this is the biggest pot. This is probably about a three gallon pot right here. You can see the roots coming out of the bottom. So that's a good sign. See the potatoes there? Wow. This one was a really good pot. This one was the best pot so far. Look at that. And they all kind of grow together. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> so I don't have scales small enough to weigh this. I get bass scales, but I'm not trying to dra drag all that out for this. That's probably about five pounds of potatoes right there out of one, two, three, four, six pots. And these, uh, the four of the pots were only uh, two gallons. The largest pot we have was a three-gallon pot. So there you go. That's how you can grow potatoes in containers. Even if you live in an apartment complex, you can put a, a one or two gallon pot. I wouldn't advise a one gallon pot. A two to three gallon pot out on your balcony or a five gallon bucket. And uh, you can grow you some potatoes. I would stick with a small variety like a fingerling potato. You can get fingerling seed potatoes at the market. Uh, on online, uh, these were baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We don't grow a lot of supermarket potatoes because they've been sprayed where they want to uh, produce the eyes and the shoots. But when I walked by this bag and seen them all sprouted out, I figured they must have not, they must have missed that bag. So uh, we always try to 
start with uh, seed potatoes and we have a lot better results. But you can see that's not too bad from supermarket potatoes in two to three gallon pots. Thanks for watching.